April 2021 market trends, deep dive into neighborhoods. But first, interest rates remain in the low three, so still a very desirable rate for home buyers, giving them tons of purchasing power. So let's dig deeper into each location, starting with North Portland. North Portland median sold price decreased 1% between April 2019 and April 2020, and increased 19% between April 2020 and April 2021. For perspective, 3-4% to appreciation a year is considered average. You can see via the red line, April days on market has been at or below 10 days for the past 3 years. You can see via the white line that there was a dip in homes sold between April 2019 and April 2020 that has since rebounded higher within the last year. And lastly, North Portland has a demand of 172 homes and a supply of 95 homes, which equals 0.55 months of housing inventory. Definite need for some more inventory in North Portland. Let's head to Northeast Portland. Northeast Portland median sold price increased 7% between April 2019 and April 2020 and increased 21% between April 2020 and April 2021. You can see via the red line, April days on market has been at or below 10 days for the past three years. You can see via the white line that there was a dip in homes sold between April 2019 and April 2020 that has since rebounded higher within the last year. And lastly, Northeast Portland has a demand of 309 homes and a supply of 179 homes, which equals 0.58 months of housing inventory. Definite need for some more inventory in Northeast Portland. Let's head to Southeast Portland. Southeast Portland median sold price increased 10% between April 2019 and April 2020 and increased 17% between April 2020 and April 2021. You can see via the red line, April days on market has decreased from a high of 12 days in April 2019 to the current low of 5 days in April 2021. You can see via the white line that there was a dip in homes sold between April 2019 and April 2020 that has since rebounded higher within the last year. And lastly, Southeast Portland has a demand of 369 homes and a supply of 219 homes, which equals 0.59 months of housing inventory. Definite need for some more inventory in Southeast Portland. Let's head to Southwest Portland. Southwest Portland's median sold price increased 7% between April 2019 and April 2020 and increased 11% between April 2020 and April 2021. You can see via the red line, April days on market has decreased from a high of 17 days in April 2019 to the current low of 5 days in April 2020. You can see via the white line that there was a dip in homes sold between April 2019 and April 2020 that has since rebounded higher within the last year. And lastly, Southwest Portland has a demand of 271 homes and a supply of 244 homes, which equals 0.9 months of housing inventory. Definite need for some more inventory in Southwest Portland. Let's head to Northwest Portland. Northwest Portland's median sold price increased 15% between April 2019 and April 2020 and increased 1% between April 2020 and April 2021. You can see via the red line, April days on market has decreased from a high of 18 days in April 2019 to the current low of 6 days in April 2021. You can see via the white line that there was a dip in homes sold between April 2019 and April 2020 that has since rebounded higher within the last year. And lastly, Northwest Portland has a supply of 328 homes and a demand of 228 homes, which equals 1.44 months of housing inventory, giving Northwest Portland the highest inventory of all the locations. Let's head to Hillsboro. Hillsboro's median sold price increased 8% between April 2019 and April 2020 and increased 15% between April 2020 and April 2021. You can see via the red line, April days on market has been at or below 10 days for the past three years. You can see via the white line that homes sold remained the same between April 2019 and April 2020 and then increased within the last year. And lastly, Hillsborough has a demand of 164 homes and a supply of 64 homes, which equals 0.39 months of housing inventory. Definite need for some more inventory in Hillsborough. Let's head to Beaverton. Beaverton median sold price has increased 6% between April 2019 and April 2020 and 16% between April 2020 and April 2021. You can see via the red line, April days on market has been at or below 10 days for the past three years. You can see by the relatively flat white line that the number of homes sold appears to be consistent for April over the past three years. And lastly, Beaverton has a demand of 216 homes and a supply of 102 homes, which equals 0.47 months of housing inventory. Definite need for some more inventory in Beaverton. Let's head to Tigard. 
Tiger's median sold price has increased 9% between April 2019 and April 2020, and 11% between April 2020 and April 2021. You can see via the red line, April days on market has been at or below 10 days for the past three years. You can see via the white line that there was a dip in homes sold between April 2019 and April 2020 that has since rebounded within the last year. And lastly, Tigard has a demand of 107 homes and a supply of 56 homes, which equals 0.52 months of housing inventory. Definite need for some more inventory in Tigard. Let's head to Lake Oswego. Lake Oswego's median sold price increased 14% between April 2019 and April 2020, and 17% between April 2020 and April 2021. As per the red line, April days on market has decreased from a high of 12 days in April 2019 to the current low of 5 days in April 2021. You can see via the white line that there was a dip in homes sold between April 2019 and April 2020 that has since rebounded within the last year. And lastly, Lake Oswego has a demand of 129 homes and a supply of 82 homes, which equals 0.64 months of housing inventory. Definite need for some more inventory in Lake Oswego. Let's head to Milwaukee. Milwaukee's median sold price increased 3% between April 2019 and April 2020, and 26% between April 2020 and April 2021. You can see via the red line, April days on market has been at or below 10 days for the past three years. You can see via the white line that there was a slight dip in homes sold between April 2019 and April 2020 that has since rebounded higher within the last year. And lastly, Milwaukee has a demand of 115 homes and a supply of 42 homes, which equals 0.37 months of housing inventory. Definite need for some more inventory in Milwaukee. Let's head to Happy Valley. Happy Valley's median sold price decreased 11% between April 2019 and April 2020 and increased 12% between April 2020 and April 2021. As per the red line, April days on market has decreased from a high of 29 days in April 2019 to the current low of 4 days in April 2021. You can see via the white line that homes sold remain relatively flat between April 2019 and April 2020 and then increased substantially within the last year. And lastly, Happy Valley has a demand of 85 homes and a supply of 76 homes, which equals 0.89 months of housing inventory. Definite need for some more inventory in Happy Valley. Let's head to Gresham. Gresham's median sold price increased 11% between April 2019 and April 2020 and increased 14% between April 2020 and April 2021. You can see via the red line, April days on market has been at or below 10 days for the past three years. You can see by the relatively flat white line that the number of homes sold appears to be consistent for April over the past three years. And lastly, Gresham has a demand of 95 homes and a supply of 55 homes, which equals 0.58 months of housing inventory. Definite need for some more inventory in Gresham. I hope you found this information helpful. I've included a link below for more details and analysis at my website, homemadeportland.com. Have a great day and I'll see you next month.